The giant leap for just announced now for AI technology using prompts to generate videos that range from the realistic to the fantastical. ABC Zorin Shah joins us now with more. And Zorin, as you can imagine, there are a lot of ethical concerns here too. Yeah, ethical for sure, Gio. I mean, some companies already have rules to address that, but the possibilities are wild. I mean, imagine saying just a few words, like news anchors drinking coffee on the moon. Well, a slick video can now be created in seconds, and pretty soon anyone will easily be able to mimic a Hollywood graphic designer. This morning, OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, introducing the world to this groundbreaking text-to-video AI tool called Sora that can quickly create videos on command like this. This feels like a very big moment, a turning point. CEO Sam Altman stating, We're teaching AI to understand and simulate the physical world in motion. This is how it works. Put a prompt into the app, like this one OpenAI featured. They say, a movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30-year-old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet. Blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style, shot on 35 millimeter film, vivid colors. Boom. In seconds, the system creating this. Experts say generative AI, like tools already out there by companies like Runway and Pika Lab, could hold major consequences. It's going to shift everything for us. We can no longer trust what we see and what we hear. Should we as a society be nervous about this? It's a mix. There's a lot of excitement and there's a, a lot of fear. This tool and the others on the market are such concern because of the speed at which the technology is evolving. So far, the company is only allowing a few users to test features, say they're taking important safety steps, but haven't yet announced when they will make it public. What kind of impact is this going to have on Hollywood? Time will tell. It's either going to be a threat and replace jobs or it's going to create more jobs. You know, these tools still need a human in the loop. That means there needs to be a human that prompts the tool into creating the incredible videos that we've all seen on our feeds this week. And that takes writing and that takes creativity. So here's the thing. It is not perfect yet. The example that OpenAI gave is it doesn't understand cause and effect. So if you prompt someone to, for example, bite a cookie, the cookie might not have a bite mark. Emmanuel says that the tech is improving, though, and soon our naked eye will not know if something is made by a computer or a human. Guys. Well, you use that example of AI news anchors. Not on our watch, yeah. Laurie. Yeah. Not on our watch. But the idea of a cookie that you bite and it never goes away. <laughs> that it's really good. something. Never yeah. eating cookie. Yeah. All right, thanks.